What's up guys? Today we are going to be working in the Python shell and we're going to learn how to slice a list like this into smaller lists. We're going to learn how to split a stream into a list and then lastly we're going to learn how to join a list into one stream. So we're going to start off with slicing. So slicing means that we only want part of this list. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. So I've now declared a list called names and it has these five names in it. So as you know, I can say something like print names and if I put a zero here, it's gonna print out whatever is an index zero. So if I hit enter, we get Todd and definitely not typing that again. So I'll hit copy and paste. So again, I can put two and you'll see we'll get Bill. So here's, here's the new thing. So instead of just putting a number here, I can put a colon. So let's actually switch this to a one and hit enter. And you see we get Jake, Bill, Sally, and Anna. So what this means, what this little colon is telling Python is, I want you to start at index one and go to the end. Give me the rest of the list. So what's happening is Jake is at index one. So we start there and take the rest of the list. And that's why you see all these get printed out. So just in the same way, if I say start at index three, so zero, one, two, three, start at Sally and print the rest of the list, we should get Sally and Anna, and we do. And this works in the opposite way too, so we can take only the beginning of the list. So the way you do that is you say, I want everything before index two. So it goes zero, one, and when it gets to two, it stops and does not include it. So we should get Todd and Jake here, and we do. So I don't think I've discussed this yet, but you can put a negative index. So if I say names at negative two, I, I know that Todd is at zero. So Anna starting at the end of the list is negative one. Sally is negative two. Then we get Sally. And the reason this happens is because when you put a negative index here, it says start counting at the end of the list and go towards the front. So Todd we know is at zero. So Anna is at negative one. Sally would be at negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. So just in the same way, I can say, um, give me everything starting at negative three or yeah, negative three to the end. So what will happen is Anna's is negative one, negative two, negative three. So we want to start at negative three and go to the end. So we should get Bill, Sally, and Anna, and we do. So next we're going to be learning about split and it's a function that allows us to take a stream and then split it up into multiple elements in a list. So this is just a stream I called SSN or social security number. And here is just you know a fake social. So our goal is going to be to have this first group of numbers be in a list at index zero, this group at index one, and this group at index two. So I'll just declare this string. So I wanna make a list that holds the, the list generated by split. So I'll just call that uh, SSN list, and that is equal to splitting the string SSN. And now I have to pass in an argument here, and that is what I want to split my string by. So this isn't always a hyphen, like I could have spaces or something like that. In this particular case, we have these hyphens. So I'm going to say split by the hyphen. So now all I've done is I've printed this list and you can see that in the first element, we have our first group of numbers. Our second element is our second group of numbers. And, and you, you can see, basically, we did exactly what we wanted to. Uh, so moving on to the next example, let's say I had a strain like, I'll just say B, and I'll say Jake walks his dog. So if I say B, I'll say print B.split. I want to print the list that I'm given after I split B. And if I don't put any argument here, if I leave this blank, it assumes I'm just going to split by a space. That's just the default that whoever wrote this decided that would just be the default. So if we print this, we can see that 
you know, it did exactly the same thing. Every time it saw what we were splitting by, it just dropped that chunk of the stream into its own element. And lastly, for join, I've just made this list and it just has the strings Jake walks his dog. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this list and put it back into one string. So the syntax for this, the, the words we use to tell Python to do this is kind of weird, um, but to stick with me, it'll make sense in a second. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by making a string that is an empty space. And I'm gonna say dot join. And then I tell it the list I wanna join. Who is texting me? That's not important. Um, so what happens yeah, let's just print this out. We'll see what it looks like and then we'll talk about it. So it prints Jake walks his dog. So what's happening is Python sees this space and then it joins the list by placing this character in between all of these. So we put Jake and we see that here. Then we put a space. Then we put whatever's in the next element. Then we put a space and so on. So if we wanted to do something weird, we could just, you know, we could have a comma in between each one of them. And you can see there's no spaces this time, instead it's just commas. So that's how you take a list and you join it back into one string. So that's it. Now you know how to slice a list into a smaller list. You know how to split a string into a list and you know how to take a list and join it back together into one string. So I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching, guys.